chip's so weird. Cherry's new side by side. That's something. <laughs> Don't be picking on the Honda. Alright, welcome back to another video. We are getting ready to build a cage for this Honda Talon X, I believe it is. I think the X is 68 wide. Um, I'm just going to be a full XO build. Front to rear, we're going to try to sneak a little bit of a radius cage in here. Um, we don't have much to work with as far as the radius goes because it's it's not very long at the top here. Like from here to here is only about two and a half, three feet. So I don't know how much of a radius we'll be able to get in there unless we kind of maybe swoop it back to there. Um, they have a, I uh, guess you would call it a snorkel up here. So we're going to try to reuse that. We're going to bring the cage down just an inch or two. Uh, maybe less than this, bring it down a little bit, find a way to hide that. Um, but the talons, it, it's a whole another beast when it comes to cages because they have a lot of tabs um as far as like holding this plastic and muffler brackets um this tab here this tab here this is all part of the main frame smells like marshmallows um there's a tab here and a tab here not sure why this tab is here so this is part of this and the seatbelt Yes, yeah, and there it connects into the middle in here too. So we'll do some some figuring, try to figure out some math. I can see that there's a bolted connection right above the driver's head there, which you can also see the front of the cage is like, yeah, it's weird. Um, it looks to be about two inch tubing, but I'm sure it's probably very thin wall. You can see, you can see that that cage comes in there like that. Um, we'll probably try to take it back as much as possible so we'll put a little a little kick in this tube to get it straight to cover more of the person's body but yeah so I mean it doesn't look like you have to take much plastic off not like mm -hmm. the Can-Am um, yeah, we'll so the yeah so there's a bung here there's one here We'll take the belts off. Something in the center, I think, is it's connected in there. And then it comes back here. So we'll have to take some of this plastic off back here. And uh, figure out a way to do this. It's a really different design. But uh, we'll figure something. We'll figure something cool out for sure. Probably gusset it. He has this here to cover the snorkel. So we'll probably gusset it back here. Put a roof sheet. Maybe both corners similar to like we do on the razors or something don't like seeing the bolted connections but uh this is gonna be a really fun build yeah. it's gonna be a really cool color combination i think we're leaning towards possibly gray frame to match this and then like a gray and blue three-piece roof right like maybe something like zip tie two two-tone be pretty cool been checking it out though. Honda's a lot different. I don't even know how to open the door. How do you open the door? Uh, inside in the handle. It's kind of like a garret. In here? Okay. In here? Yeah. Ow. Okay. Alright. It's different. I'm going to have to take a peek of this. Oh, the gas is inside. I've never looked at a Honda before. I've been around them. You should drive it up there. It shifts so different. Is it weird shifting? Yeah. Or is, I mean, shifts itself? I will have to drive it. Like you it's got it. paddle shifters too. Feel it shift. Okay. This is pretty cool. PRP four point harnesses. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have to see if there's a reason that that comes down into there. Maybe it, if it mounts or something. We might just come down straight across it since you know there's really no need to go in there unless it mounts there somehow. Yeah. We'll find out once we start taking plastic off. This is the first time a Honda's ever been in a garage and the first time I've ever had my hands on a Honda. I've, Honda side by side. Honda side by side. Um, we, have a, we have a Honda 400EX over here. There's a little garage over here we have. So we have a Honda 400EX. Um, got a Can-Am DS250 too. Cooper used to run 
I don't run the four wheelers anymore, so they just sit. Now they're into the side by sides. No. You good? I don't know how to do it. Sherry doesn't know how to work on a Honda either. You trying to move the seat? Yeah. I pulled this button, but just the bottom comes off. Isn't that slide? Maybe you take the bottom off. We're rookies. I can build a cage, but I can't move a seat. <laughs> <laughs> Struggle bus. So, for now, what we're going to do is we're going to take some measurements. Um, the roof kind of angles up. We're probably going to keep maybe the similar bend point and curve it back just to bring the back down a hair. The cage is already... If you bring it too much lower, it'll just look a little lower because of the roof. Yeah, let me sit in here. The cage on the Honda is already kind of low. To be honest with you, I think anyway. Yeah, you have like. Yeah, so I'm. Probably five inches to the bar. Yeah. It's like a hand width above me. Yeah. So we don't want to bring it down too far and be unsafe. Hit your head on it or something, but. Yeah. It's yeah. pretty cool. We'll figure something out. I'm sure. Maybe a couple bracing in here. Get this roof off. We'll get some hard measurements going. I'm excited though. We'll add a uh, Honda Talon to the to the channel. Be able to build that. Let you guys see it. Should be a pretty cool build. Front, rear bumpers. Mm -hmm. He gave us the freedom to do pretty much any color, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, something. Something to match. Match. Yeah. Um, any design, which is awesome. So, um, we'll just go wild, build something cool. Yeah, just kind of. As you're building it, you can just see what looks yeah. what looks good. I like it though. It's gonna be different. So we're gonna I'm gonna help Sherry <laughs> back on, here get this <laughs> get the harness off so we can move the seats. We can get some plastic out, and uh, we'll be able to see what we're working with. Get the bare bones, and then get some measurements. Take the cage off, and we'll be back. Starting with the cage build. Oh, don't worry. Actually, I just got the last one. She just got it. I will show you the bung kit. So this is like the main bunk. There's the A and the B. And then this is all of the tabs for everything. This will be interesting. Coming up next. Okay, we're mathing. Figuring math. Okay, Lots of math. A 90 degree takes 8 inches. Okay. So you have that on both sides. And we need our total to be 54 and 3 quarter. So you do 54 and 3 quarter minus 16. Okay. And that. 54 and 3 quarter minus 16. Got it. Okay. And then that's what we need in between our bends. Yes. Okay. So that's the first. That's the first bend. Um, we've decided to switch it up, and we're not going to go from A all the way back to C. So we're going to do a B, um, like main hoop. And then we're going to bring the A back to it. And then we're going to come from there down and from here back. And this is our, um, it's kind of like our test piece. It's been like filled with water and frozen and broken. But uh, it's a good, it's a good solid test. Uh, it's the same diameter, one and three quarter. And we just kind of use it to gauge like our radius and stuff. So it's kind of, I mean it's a little bit lower, but gonna be kind of like this and it's gonna come back to our our B pillar and our B pillar will go straight across straight obviously but that's what we're figuring out right now um, we get that to stay we're figuring out the distance from uh, outside of B pillar to outside of B pillar and we're gonna go 16 inches tall um, that's what Sherry's got going on over here. Almost got it? Almost. Ready to cut and then bend? Almost. Okay. What's the measure? 49 and a quarter. Should be 39 and a quarter. Nope, that's to the center of our bend, so you have to add five inches on each side. I told you that. How to build a Honda Talon cage. Don't listen to your husband. Sherry approved. <laughs> this is our first piece, 79 and, 79 and 10 sixteenths, right? <laughs> 
<laughs> what is it? <laughs> the well, overall? Yeah. 79 and a quarter. 79 and a quarter. Four eighths. That would be half, 79 and a half. So the way you did this? 79 and two sixteenths. We're going to have to put this all the way in through. Yeah. Or do you want to do it on this side? I don't care. It don't matter to me. Somebody wants you. Okay, ready? We're going to see if we get it right on the first shot. And remember, kids, this no, is 120 totally wall, and it usually springs back about 3 to 4 degrees. So if you want to bend at 90, you got to go like 93, 94. Okay, get the marker in there, too. You need a tape. Okay, we're going to need multiple hands. We'll be back. I think that thing needs some grease splattered on it or something. It's got a nice beat. <laughs> First bend. Getting ready. It should be a good time. You can see how this angles in that way. We're just gonna put a cut on it. We're gonna take it straight back. We'll gain we'll gain several inches. And uh miserable weather. Let me show you this. My driveway's pretty much flooding. The river is about to come over. That's why it's so wet in here. Are you there yet? Okay, next bend. Hit it. Oh, it's perfect. Look at that. Okay. Yeah. You gotta do it the right way. That way you know you're bending your uh, tube on the same plane. Handy dandy equipment there. Zero it out. You like it? And here we come. 94 degrees. We're holding tubes. Okay. Alright, first bar done. Should we go ahead and just start this one? Okay, come hold the camera on. Get close. We'll have to we'll have to tighten those bungs up. Grab my test piece. Tighten the buttons up. How to how to build a Honda Talon cage. Part two coming up. Alright, so I have a mark at 20, 20 inches, and then 20, and then 57. And that's because I want my A pillar bend here to be at 20 inches up, and then it's gonna end. Um, Right around in like 56, but I'm going to take it to 57 just so I have some material to work with. Right? Baby moves a lot. <laughs> Shall we, um, probably get a little bit more, huh? Okay. And then, um, we can check it with our, we do have a template right here. We also have that one that we bent. Somewhere, I forget, right there. We can check it with that one, because I like that radius. Okay. Step three. <laughs> Bend the road piece. You have to 
zero it out back there. Gotcha. Um, okay, I'm gonna need another hand. We'll be back. <laughs> Oh. Oh. It bounces whenever I, yeah, no. <laughs> whenever I do it. Alright, zero this baby out. We're going to go to 35. 35. 35 degrees. Don't know what radius it is. We just radiused it until it looked good. And look good, it does. Zeroed. Okay. 35, here we come. What step are we on? Four. Step four. Not sure. Um, obviously, it doesn't go on top. It goes down below, but that gets you an idea right around in that general area of what we're going for for looks. I like it. And then uh, we'll be able to come back in here, attach into the rear bumper, and then start the front. But it gets you a side profile anyway. Okay, we'll be back with step five or six or seven. I'm not sure where we're at yet. Bless you. I don't know if I got that or not. <laughs> Step, whatever we're on. <laughs> uh, cope and then fit. That's what we're working with now. Got a cope up here. We're going to bring it out. We don't want to be down into this bend. So we're going to hug the side of it. Get it looking, you know, straight at least. Rather than being curved in like it was. It just come straight back. I like it. Okay, both sides on, both sides are tacked. Um, what I'll do next is I'm gonna come across the front. He wants a low brow. So we're gonna come across the front with a um, kind of like a V shape. That would be our low brow. Now we're gonna do a three piece roof. So I'm gonna need two more of these um, to go back. And then uh, we can do our intrusion bar, lower intrusion bar. I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna tie into his front bumper. Um, right around in this area back here, we'll probably make a plate, bolt the plate, weld our bumper there, and over here in this area. Well, I think that's the plan anyway, we'll see how it goes, but uh, we're going to call it a night tonight, and uh, we're going to start fresh tomorrow. We'll see you back here in the next clip with step 10, 11, or 12, something like that. It's coming along. Step 19 of building a Honda Talon cage low brow installed lower intrusion bar installed next step we work on the front bumper down. okay squats down helping out <laughs> hey everybody so as, uh, i'm working on this okay and i'm telling you like steps to follow and like step 10 step 12 this is what we're doing blah 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 well the gopro battery died and i ended up building the front bumper uh, just because I didn't want to go over to the house while I was in the, um, the motions and, and rhythm of building the front bumper. So I missed some of it, but we're going to cover step. I don't know what step we're on 15 to 20, something like that. But this is what we have so far for a front bumper. I know I showed you the cage. Can't remember what step that was. Um, but what we have here is two sidebars here. And we have the front bumper tied into his existing bumper. Um, we wanted to try to do something in here, but this entire middle is removable. And I don't want to have to have him deal with taking a front bumper off if he has to get in here. So we're going to leave this open. Uh, we're just going to stick with the two sides and these. So how we tied in to the front bumper. I will show you. We got a piece of five and a half inch, um, tacked a bung to it. We made this piece, and then underneath I welded a plate and a nut. So what you have here is just a single bolt that goes up through the bottom, and it threads into a half inch by 13 nut that is welded on the inside of the plate. That's welded on the inside of that tube. Um, very strong, and then there's bungs here so you can remove this you don't ever have to worry about removing that i didn't want to weld to this uh just in case you know this is you know something happens to it, it has to be replaced uh we can easily reattach into the front bumper and make a new mount so uh that's why we did that 
um, makes sense to me. Hopefully it makes sense to everybody else. And then I think what we have going on next, because the front bumper is pretty much done. He did want me to reinforce the frame. So down here, the mounts that attach to the his front bumper that he has on it now, uh, they're kind of small and they're known to possibly break. So we're going to fix that for him at a later date here. But, so for now, this, I'll show you what I'm working on. Take this. We have this bend, which used to be like a 90. And then I put a 15 degree bend in it. Kind of see it. We're going to come back here. And we're going to do something like this. And it's going to come out a little bit. It's going to give something to ride on rather than it being his fender. Almost the, the same width. So we're going to come back here like that and we're going to attach into the bar that I'm going to bring down. So this will just kind of be like a filler piece. Add strength, obviously. And the same over here. So he has a snorkel that comes out. And it's kind of in my way for attaching straight. So that's when we come up with having that kick in it. Because I have to get out around that snorkel. So it's going to kind of be like this. And then this. And then maybe something in here. We're not really sure. And then we're going to have like a little kicker here. And the snorkel is going to come up and it's going to sit under here. And then they have all these brackets back here. And this goes up here like that. This bracket here we got. A bar comes across. These tabs come out here and bolt on this to hold the plastic cover I showed you earlier in the video. And But right now what we're going to attempt to do is we're going to try to attempt to get that on. And then we're going to attempt to get this piece bent down into here and here. So that's next. Right, Scott? That is correct. Okay. <laughs> okay. Next step, you take yourself a 47-inch piece of tubing here. You come in, you mark it 28 inches, you put a 35 degree bend in it, you put a straight cope on the end, and that is your rear tie-in. We'll come back here and I'll show you. And do this one handed here. So the cope end will go up there, like that. This will come back down in here, like this. That's how you do that works perfect and then that that bracket here let me see if I can clip you guys onto this piece of plastic here so this come up here get welded on there like that and that holds the plastic and then these brackets here will hold this bottom bar and be like that nice strong sturdy and then we'll connect in over here and uh, that will be part of the rear bumper so I'm gonna make another one of these put it on the other side get it tacked and then uh, I can start building off of that all right next piece done so now I can go back tack these two on to the back and uh we'll bring it back and show you what that looks like hope you guys know what step we're on because i lost track this is the next step this lower bar here this is how we're gonna do it um i did uh 30 get this out here it's all i did 31 inches long and then the cope i did half inch in so from cope to cope it's 30 inches and I did an 8 degree uh, cope on it. So you can see it's kind of slanted or sloped, whatever you want to say the cope is. And that will fit right in like this. But I need two hands here. Just like that. That'll fit in there. And then you can see these brackets go right to that. And that's what they'll get welded to. And then this back bumper here will get bolted here and here with a bracket. And then we'll end this off here with a plug. We'll cut this shorter, obviously, right there and right here. 
and then uh, maybe add some sort of either plug or decorative plug maybe something flat like this or curved like that um, he didn't say whether or not he likes spikes so I don't think we'll do that but uh, yeah so that is what this next spot looks like here okay. I made my new piece 100 degree bend at the top that one bending multi so we come back here this will be that piece that I showed you that was on there I uh, changed my bend up a little bit made it a little bit more bend to get more kick so we went to 100 degrees instead of 90 and it'll go bare back there just like that we'll get it coped into there we'll get it coped in back here and we'll get that baby tacked on there I get that one done cope it Tack that baby on there. Okay, step 25. Got this piece on here intact. Got this piece over here on here intact. I had to come out around to get his snorkel to be able to fit. Got it coped in here. Got the bottom down here tacked. I'll tack it to these brackets here that are bolted to the frame. Um, we'll probably cut this off at a later date and plug it with something. Um, I'll have to get the other plastic crowd here that goes here and get these fit, get those tacked on. But I think now, um, I'm not sure which part I want to do next. I'm thinking maybe, maybe something like this here to kind of go up into here and tie this, these all three in to kind of make it look like a, a corner point. And then this piece that goes here will be the snorkel cover. He wants a plate back here to cover his snorkel up so it doesn't get wet which here is the filter and here is the pipe so it was like this before so we'll probably just have to cut it down a little bit take that bottom piece off it'll be up in here like that underneath the uh, this sheet back here even something similar like this just to get it up out of the weather and have it covered so that's what's coming up next we'll get that fit and uh, so far not bad we'll get this last corner gusset on here it'll be pretty easy it'll just be uh, a cope to a cope just a straight piece um, about the same distance apart and then uh, we'll work that with the, uh, the roof bars Okay, back with step 36. I don't know what step it is. No way. Yes way. No way. I got it. It's on there. I like it. Love, love it. Love it, Sherry. Huh? I love it. You love me? Yeah, you're alright. I'll keep you. I'll keep you around. Okay. What step are we on? <laughs> I like your shirt. Coming up, next step, 487. What do you think, Sherry? Good? Okay. Like roof, roof next. Yeah. Grab handles. Okay. Let me get those on. Um, okay, I'll put the. Uh, Roof, sheet, or roof bars on three piece roof. I love the low brow and the three piece roof. You can't go wrong with the three piece roof. Uh, a little bit more work, but it, it is definitely worth the extra work. It just looks so good there. Got the inlaid. We'll do the inlaid roof. I'm undecided if I want to add anything back in here. I just don't know. I don't want it to be too busy, but I want it to look good. I don't want it to be in the way of, of this piece. So. Having a hard time deciding, I'm not sure yet. If I do, you guys will be the uh, first to know. But uh, I wanted to leave this open back here because he has pack outs, which are sitting right there. So I wanted him to have easy access to his pack outs. Um, I don't know, maybe I'll, I'll message him and see if he wants a bar back here to kind of protect it. But um, I know those pack outs kind of slide out so I don't want to interrupt any of 
the pack out stuff. So uh, we'll see um, if we're going to put a bar in here or not for a little bit extra support. But uh, for now, I'm going to move on and I'm going to cut the pieces from up here. They go from here back to there. I have my marks up there where I want to go. And uh, that will be the next step. I like it. Okay. So what we have here is pretty much a finished Honda Talon cage that is ready for weld and then powder coat. This one's getting powder coated and it's going to be a pretty cool color too. He, uh, he pretty much gave us free range to do what we wanted on this. Um, we're going to pick probably like a two-tone color scheme. Uh, if you're familiar with mine, Zip Tie 2.0, I did like a black and yellow cage or uh, roof panels. I think this one's going to be similar, just a different... We might throw some uh, colors off the body onto the cage and then the roof. But uh, so far, it's pretty much ready. We're going to get ready to pull it off. Um, I'll get it welded. Three-piece roof looking good. Intrusion bars. Love it. Back's done. Tacked. I got all these tabs on here. This tab here these tabs there oh you know what almost forgot see I'm not done I gotta add a bar back here for these uh, harnesses almost forgot so I'm gonna come off of right around in here somewhere kind of dip down straight across dip up kind of like I did this uh, um, lower intrusion bar I think we'll do something similar back here that way they can hook their um, strap their harnesses right around that again kind of like the stock one so once I do that and then it will be done we'll pull it off we'll weld it and then uh, we'll take it to powder coat it's probably going to be a week or two before we're back with the finished product of the powder coat so um, we'll just go ahead and skip to the final product of this in the next clip okay we are back ladies and gentlemen to show you the finished product of the Honda and I have to hurry up because it is starting to sprinkle and I don't want to get this all soaking wet so I'm just going to get right into it we're going to turn you around we're going to show you what we got and uh, you guys got to let us know in the comments what you think I love the color combination on this it is absolutely awesome it went with the gunmetal gray metallic with the blue Got his snorkel hidden up in there out of the weather. You guys saw how we tied it into the bumper here. Got the two tone roof, got the gray going down the center with the blue on the outsides. Finished up with the blue on the, uh, the back. very nice very clean gotta love the radius that's a good looking honda talent there i love the colors absolutely love this build you guys can remember back to the uh Pro R that we did. This is the same blue that we did on that as we did here. Kind of tie in the blue he has on his. He has like a blue and gray color combination. So we just tied that right into the cage. His whips go right here in this mount, which are right here. So those are. Those are the old whip mounts right there. You can put those there. We didn't want to put them on because of getting it in and out of the garage. They hit. Looks like Sherry's moving hers over. So yeah, I just wanted to get on here, show you the final product of this. I really like how this one turned out. I love, I love the the gray color. Um, it's probably one of my favorite colors, uh, just in general. I can, I can hear her CV clicking from here. Um, yeah, so 
the gray um i had a truck that was pretty much this color one time um i just i love the gray metallic looks really good and that blue you can't go wrong with that color blue all powder coated this one's powder coated too um so i think that's it i think we're gonna call it here hope you guys enjoyed this build hope the uh the the owner is coming in two days to pick this up uh, we just got it buttoned up about five ten minutes ago and i wanted to come out here before the weather turns to crap because it is supposed to rain all day tomorrow too and i just don't want to get it in the rain as always thank you guys for tuning in thanks for watching our videos liking and subscribing and commenting we appreciate everything our channel members and patrons and sponsors up on the screen you guys are awesome thank you so much and uh thank you everybody for trusting in us to build you guys as cages um we pride ourselves on building really strong cages and um we put them to the test all the time so we stand behind our cages for sure and they just look awesome i just love the way that the side profile of this cage i love it. looks good okay we're starting on another build over there we have a uh pro xp that's getting a cage it's just getting a cage and a rear bumper and we have a full bed delete x3 over there too so stay tuned for those builds we'll probably have some riding up here too and then um we'll come back for uh, some more build videos if you guys like them we'll keep putting them out so thank you and we'll see you on the next one